Hi Geminis, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy check-in reading. We're gonna see what messages the universe has for you. When I was pre-shuffling for you guys, I kept picking up the message of you guys not wanting to start over, but if you have to, you will. But it's, it's putting you in sort of um, a depressing state. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. We also have the Four of Cups. You may feel like somebody's ignoring you with the judgment card here. You're making a decision to stay away from this person or not call them, not speak to them or something here with the two of pentacles. I feel like you keep going back and forth in your head. Like, should I or shouldn't I? Like, should I reach out to them? If they reach out to me, should I talk to them? First... For some of you, you feel like this is a waste of time. It's like you want a victory with this person. You want success with the Six of Wands here. But you feel like this person keeps cheating or putting you in some sort of third-party situation here where you don't trust it. So this is all about not being able to trust this person. I feel like some of you, this person has already reached out and left you a message and maybe you haven't responded. And if that hasn't happened yet... I'm seeing that it will. I saw that energy in a pre-shuffle here. The Six of Cups. I'm seeing the Six of Cups again here. So someone is going to come back around and try to reconcile with you or at least talk to you to see where you guys stand on the situation. We have the Fool card here, the Page of Wands. I feel like both of you actually want to make this work. But you're dealing with someone I feel like is inconsistent because they'll come around with this energy right here. could be an Aries or a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo. I mean, um, yeah, it could be an Aries here for you guys or a younger fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius. And they tell you they want this 10 of cups with you. And it's like, they're, they tell you everything up front with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like they give you clarity. They make you feel like things are going to go in a good direction. But I feel like somebody lacks follow through here. Also, this person is watching you with the Page of Swords. Um, it could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that's keeping their eye on you to see what you have going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Geminis? What do they need to know? I'm holding on to this deck so tight because it keeps, like, the cards are so waxy here. Somebody still loves you, Gemini, but do you still love this person? I feel like you gave someone, um... You gave someone like so many chances here and they keep showing up for you as a page. Now, this could be an earth sign you're dealing with and they could be younger than you. But if not, it's like they keep giving you just like the bare minimum. And you're like, OK, I can't keep holding on to that or dealing with that. You're like, um, I don't know, like you could be dealing with someone else, but you're you feel like you're wasting your time with this person. But there is love here with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands. The Two of Cups has been coming out a lot. I feel like since this um, retrograde that we just came out of, a lot of people are deciding that they want to come back around to someone if they haven't been talking to them with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. I just did a reading for Aries and I did a reading for Taurus. And in both readings, the Two of Cups came out. And the Six of Cups, I believe. So... It's just like, you're like, okay, even if this person comes back around, will this be long term? Or will this be something that's good for a couple of months? And then this person goes back to their old behavior. So I feel like some of you are afraid of that. Or it's something that you're thinking about where you're feeling like, I just can't get over this. It's like you want this new beginning with this person, but with the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, Whoever this person is that you closed your cup up on, Gemini, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You're afraid that there still won't be an equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles reversed. So it's like, do you want to waste your time on this is what you're asking yourself. Because there is going to be a new opportunity, but there are delays here in this new opportunity between you and this person. And I feel like both of you guys don't want to be vulnerable. No one wants to be the first to speak up on something or you know, try to move this forward. Something ended here with the world card, but I feel like it's going to come back around again. I don't feel like this is the end of things. It could be a Scorpio that you were dealing with. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini's? 
yeah we have the lovers here we have the hermit we have the hangman you guys are getting all major arcanas oh my goodness and you got the chariot look at the major arcanas you have lovers hermit hangman and justice card some of you are dealing with a virgo we have gemini energy here pisces libra or a cancer now what i'm seeing here is i can't hold all the cards in my hand because they're going to slip out so i'm just going to grab some of them if you're wanting this person back you're going to get justice in this situation you guys are going to talk again you're going to try to figure something out but i still see stuck energy here so whereas though there's going to be trust issues like you guys are going to have to put in a lot of work and you're not sure if this person is willing to do this or if they're up for the challenge because it's not going to be easy it's going to be extremely challenging i see someone wanting to hang on to you but they don't know if this is actually going to work out here with the four of swords nine of swords and the four of pentacles yeah, this is somebody who still wants this connection. They know they messed up, too, with the Nine of Swords here. And I feel like they're worried that they may not be good enough to come back around and, like, change things. Because you're looking... If, this, if you let this person back in after ending something with them and moving away from them, I feel like you're looking for big changes here. This is nothing subtle. So this person can't come in dragging their feet. It's like they're going to have to come in with these changes immediately and show you something different than what they showed you in the past also feel like this person healed from something too like they could have left you and went towards a third party situation here because we did have the three of cups come out in the beginning of the reading and something didn't work out for them and now they're coming back wanting to hold on to you wanting to try to make this work again and i feel like you've moved on you've done some work on yourself and you're like you know what like why would i even i feel like you're questioning why would i even go back to this person but it's like um back and forth like well, one minute you're like oh, okay maybe if this person changes we can have something here again and then you're like i don't know you know other days you think about the conflict that you went through with this person how you struggled how you made it through without them and things are stable and grounded for you now with the four of wands you don't know if you want to bring this back into your um your space I feel like this person sees you doing really well for yourself and, and it, they like they don't want anyone else to have you. So they could be thinking about that. This could be a fire sign here. An Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that's looking at you. They're watching you. They see how um, you're keeping yourself up. You know, even if you did struggle, you didn't let them know that. You know, you could have struggled mentally with this situation when you guys broke up, but you didn't let them know that because you still look good to this person. And they see like if you look good to them they're like well other people are looking at you as well so what messages do you have for Gemini's yep we have the nine of cups and we have the will of fortune so some of you have money coming in or you're doing like really well for yourself you, have, you either have a business or like when this person walked away from you i feel like your life changed but in a good way and so you're like why should i take this person back why should i go back to them you know i feel like it's not enough for this person to tell you that they still love you even if you have a child by this person something is that's not going to be enough for them to come back in and you decide to work on this and i feel like that's what they're afraid of they may even be afraid to approach you with this offer. Yep. Somebody's afraid to approach you with this offer. We have the Eight of Swords here. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups. So we have Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That may be coming back during the Walk of Shame because with the Knight of Cups, I believe this is the only knight in the tarot deck where the horse is, um, the head is down on the knight like the knight of cups card and so this person is ashamed of something here it's like they don't want to face you they want this they want to start over but they don't want to face the music here they don't know what you have to say or if you're going to turn them down some of you may work with this person with the three of pentacles and i feel like even if you talk to them you're like i you know you feel differently about this person I feel like you're questioning yourself. Like, do I still want them? Do I even care about them anymore? Some of you may wind up taking this person back and I feel like it's not going to last long. 
you may wind up meeting somebody new here. Yeah, some of you may wind up cutting this person off again because we have the Queen of Swords because they may not keep their word. So what messages do you have for Gemini? Yep, you waited around for this person and I feel like you leveled up. Somebody took too long to come in with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. You may have broke up with this person about a year ago or maybe like six months ago or something and you waited for them to come around and then, you know, you just was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not waiting anymore. We have the Empress here. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or this could be your baby mom or you were married to this person. Some of you also may be pregnant or you may find out that you're pregnant. Um, if you're not pregnant here with this Taurus energy, I feel like you're sitting on your throne and you're very creative at this time. You know, like you could be creating a business and it could be doing really well because I did see the Nine of Pentacles as well. So when you have the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, this person may also look at you like, what can I like, what can I offer Gemini? They don't need me for anything. <laughs> like this is what they're seeing. Like they want to come back around. For some of you, this is an earth sign. A Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. And the reason why they're dragging their feet is because they're looking at you and they're seeing this. They're seeing the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the Nine of Pentacles. So they're like, I don't even match. Like this person may feel like their energy doesn't even match you. They don't have anything to offer you. You know, it's like when they left the first time, this person is feeling like they should have just stayed. Because now you're, you've been able to sort of see things for what they really are. And even if you were blind, blinded before, maybe by um, you and this person being together for years and you're like, oh, I didn't want to leave this connection and start over. I'm tired of doing that. But being as though this person walked away from you and they gave you no choice, you were able to deal with this and get over it. So you're like, well, why do I want them back? Like I want new. All right, so let's see. Sarah, what messages do you have for Gemini? I feel like some of you are still in love with this person, but like them coming back into your life is something that is going to take a lot of thought. Oh my God, there's a lot of cards that came out. I can't take all of these. For some of you, it's a Capricorn. And they're not going to stop coming towards you with the devil. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the moon. We have Pisces energy here. And another air sign here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you. I feel like somebody keeps coming towards you. But your back is turned because you're working. You either work at night. You have more than one job. It's just like you're not focused on this person. They keep trying to come towards you. They This person may message you. Sort of stalk you a little bit. And you're like, okay, like, why? Like, what is the problem? Like, why do you want me now? You didn't want me before. Like, why are you calling me all crazy? Like, why are you texting me all crazy? When I wanted you, you didn't want to be bothered. And I feel like now someone wants to be bothered with the devil card here. So this person is sort of seeing you in a new light, Gemini. But I don't know if you're interested in this person anymore. This person feels like you're keeping secrets too. They're wondering if you're dealing with someone else because you're not as interested in them as you were in the past. But this is why. Because you're focused on something that you're working on. You're create you're creating something right now with the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. And you're like, you know, my focus is elsewhere. My focus is not on this connection. You know, when you had my attention, you should have kept it and not walked away from this. All right, so let's get one more. Here, what messages do you have for Gemini? Oh, yeah, you're guarded. This person left you out in the cold. They abandoned you, and now they want to come back, and they want to manifest something with you. And I feel like um, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like you're just like, I don't know. That's your energy. I don't know what I want. I'm not even thinking about this right now. I'm working, you know, you can think about it if you want, but I'm not. So this is where you guys are. 
with this situation. I don't know what I'm going to title this reading. Maybe I'll title it. I just don't know <laughs> because you don't. So those are the messages that I have for your quick check-in. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.